everyone. This is Maggie. I have a fun fall craft for you today. We are going to decorate a wine glass, but you're not going to be using it as a wine glass. We're actually going to decorate it in this orientation, and then you'll be able to put a candle on the top. So what you'll need is any wine glass. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree. Just to make sure it's nice and clean because um, we're going to be painting it. You'll need orange, yellow, and green paint um, for the pumpkin and the stem and some black paint to put his face on. And we're going to add a little bit of twine. And you'll need brushes and a, a scissor for later. So just make sure the glass is nice and clean and that you have a, a surface to work on so you don't ruin anything. And you're going to start with your orange paint and we're going to paint the base. Want to make sure you get the whole surface. And we will need to put a few coats on. You'll probably have to put two or three coats, okay? So you'll just want to wait in between and let it dry a little. Unless you, you do want the effect that you can see through it, if you also want to put a tea light in the base, um, I'm not going to do that. I am going to... Um, paint another coat on. So we'll let that dry for a little and we'll take our green out. I get all these paints um, at Dollar Tree or um, the craft store when they're on sale because I don't paint a lot um, so I don't need that much. And you can, of course, pick other colors. If you'd like a, a fun color pumpkin, you can pick any colors you'd like. I'm doing the, the traditional orange. And now for the green, you want to paint the, the stem and the underside of your glass. If you want to paint the base, um, which right now is, is the top, you can do that too. Um, you don't need to since you're really, you're going to be putting a candle on it anyway. Um, so we're going to be covering most of it. Um, so I'm not going to be painting the base. And you can turn it over like I did if that's easier um, for you to paint it. You definitely want to be using acrylic paint for this. Um, you don't want the washable tempera paint. It'll take way too many coats of paint. All right, so do this at least one more time, possibly a third. You want to let it dry for a little bit in between, though. Otherwise, we'll just be smushing the paint around. Um, and once we're done, we'll come back, and I'll show you how to paint the leaves on and um, add a little yellow color and the face. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so after you have given your glass enough time to dry, um, longer than, than I am actually, you definitely want to do three coats 
um, on your base for both the orange and the green. And once they're dry, you can take, um, I'm using this type of uh, foam brush right now. You can use any, any kind of brush you want um, with some yellow paint. And what we're gonna do is just kind of make uh, very subtle stripes on the pumpkin. You really kind of want it to blend in. You don't actually want full on stripes on your pumpkin. You just want it to give it um, look that that it has a little bit of dimension to it. That it's not just um, solid orange. And that's all you're going to do. You can do it around the whole pumpkin, um, just parts of it. You can you don't have to do it um, the full length top to bottom if you don't want to or you can skip this step altogether um, if you do just want it uh, plain orange. Got a little bit of green on there by accident. <laughs> And like I said, I'm just dabbing a little bit. You do not need a lot. Unless you'd like it striped, then, then go for it. You can totally make this your own, however you want to paint it, whatever colors you want. You can see I've already started the next step, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, you're going to need your green paint next. You can see if you don't put too much on, it kind of fades away on its own. Just fades into the orange, which is nice. Okay, so now you're gonna take your green and you wanna just start kind of making leaves like I did here. You can just dab it on. I do think the foam brush is actually really helpful with this. Um, it lets you be a little bit sloppy. Um, unlike with a precision brush. And I do think it makes it look more natural. You can use any kind of brush you want. You don't have to do it this way. Um, and you can do as much or as little as you like. I'm just kind of going around my whole glass here. Now is definitely a good time also to touch up any areas you think you you missed or you just need a little a little more. And there we go. So now you are gonna need to let this dry again for a while, and then we are gonna come back and use our black paint to add the eyes and the mouth and I will show you um, what to do with the twine as well. All right, so we are back with our dried wine glass. Um, you should be done with your orange, yellow if you wanted to add it, and the green. Now you're gonna need some black paint. Um, I'm just using plain black apple barrel paint um, you can use chalk paint if you want, give it a little different look, or yellow. 
um, if you want to make him look like he's lit from the inside, um, but I'm going to be using the black. Shouldn't need too much, and you can use a, a small brush for this, or um, I have some of these that came with a pack of brushes, so I'm going to use that. You can make a simple smile, you can make um, any kind of face you want on it. Add a nose. And there you have it. So now the final step is to use your twine if you'd like you don't have to do this um, it's just another another cute thing you can do um, and you'll just cut a piece long enough to do a bow um, and you'll just tie it like that you can use other ribbon if you want, um, or a different color twine. Whatever you want to put on it is fine. And there's your little bow. And there it is with the candle. So, just so you guys can see exactly what it's going to look like. You could do more than one, do two, do three different heights and size glasses if you want. Um, but this is what it will look like when you're finished. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. And if you make one, Send us a picture, show us how it came out. I love to see all the different ideas from everyone, and I will see you guys in our next video.